In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to take our third look at the tool called Content Aware Editing. We've looked at how you can use this in order to analyze some raw footage and decide to keep some frames, discard some frames, or maybe even fix some. And the fixing part is what we're going to look at in this particular tutorial. I took my camera out to my church and looked at some of the pre-production stuff that the worship team was doing on the platform, and I deliberately introduced some problems in a couple of very short video clips. The first one I'm going to right-click on and click on Edit Using Content-Aware Editing. And the algorithm found several sections. It found some zooms, a zoom in and a zoom out. It found some pans. It found some faces and some speech that was not certain. Then it found what I was looking for to make some shaky video. Now this here was unintentional, this first section. If I double click on it, you'll see it moves in a little bit unevenly. Now if we want to fix only that segment, I can right click on it and say apply fix to this segment. That will open up another screen. It will give me a before and after. Let's play it and you can see the difference. The before is on the left, the after is on the right. And if I, if I run through it a couple times, it does seem like the right side is a little better in terms of stability. So I'm going to click on OK. And now let's play that in the larger screen. It's a little more stable. Now the algorithm doesn't do a perfect job, but it does help a little bit. Let's turn to another one where I deliberately did a lot of shaking with the camera. I'll double click on that. And this is very severe. Although it's marked as slight on the track for shaky video. We'll apply a, the fix again to this segment. And now we'll look at the before and after. And again, when it's this severe, there's not a lot that the video uh, can do with the Content Aware Editor Repair. So I probably wouldn't, I would probably not use that at all. I would probably take that segment out by highlighting it and clicking on Deselected. And it would be definitely one of the place, parts of my video I would not use at all. And I'll cancel out of that and I'd like to look at another segment. We have another one called Practice that I did. And this has more than one problem with it. You can edit this in the Content Aware Editor once it's on the timeline. But you need to do so by clicking on the Designer tab. And then you click on Content Aware Editing. And that gets you into the same screen that we were in before. Now in this case, I haven't run, the, run this through the Content Aware Editor. So it's going through its procedures. I'll pause the video and we'll look at it when it's done. Now in this particular video, I've introduced not only some shakiness, but I've introduced some poor lighting. Let's look at one of those segments. And here it's very dark. I'll double click on it. And we zoom in and when we get to the platform where there's plenty of light in the zoom, it'll be fine. So let's see how it attempts to salvage this piece of our video. The brightness is called low. So I'll right click on it and do apply fix to this segment. And let's look at the difference before and after. It's quite noticeable if you look especially in the foreground of the segment here. You see the chairs are very visible here. It's just kind of a muddy mess. So the poor lighting is quite well adapted to when you look at this particular segment. I'll click on OK. And by the way, if you want to turn any of these fixes off, you can right click and there's an option you don't see on the screen that says Remove Applied Fix. And when you click on that, the little wrench disappears. Now here we have extra low brightness. This is because I had the camera slide off the screen. I, I rushed it to the left and I put it back in the main screen. Let's see if it, what, could, what it can do with something this severely broken. I will apply the fix to the segment. 
and let's look at the difference. Okay, if you look at partly in the middle, you see over here, I don't see this frame. Here it's lit up quite well. Here the wall is just a mass of dark pixels. And here we see more lighting from this area here. So the, the poor lighting correction isn't bad when you consider how horrible this was to start with. And then I have another sequence here. Now this is called extra low and this is just considered to be low. Let's take another extreme example here. Right click and do apply to the segment and see the before and after. And once again, we notice we have chairs here. Here we're not sure what's on the floor. And we also see a much brighter screen, a much brighter platform. So it does help, I think, a lot more with poor lighting than shaky video unless the shakiness is minimal. We'll cancel out of that. Now if you want to change everything in the entire track, you can right click and just say apply fix to scene and then it will fix everything. We see the wrenches. I'll click on OK. It will fix everything it found in that particular track. Once again, you can still select or deselect segments to put in your final production, but this is one of the tools that you have to make some adjustments. If you're in a hurry and you want a little bit of fix and you don't want to think about it, I would use this tool. If you're not, there are other tools you have in fixing and enhancing where you can apply a video stabilizer, you can do lighting adjustment, and do it in a more professional, personal way in the video if you want to. But for quick fixes, this isn't a bad tool to use in CyberLink PowerDirector.